I wasn't trying to deceive you in any way. It was just a favor for a friend. I couldn't really refuse. Look, I'm not mad at you. I just want to know why uh, Celia was so curious about the fingerprints. She said it was a mistake that she must have picked up the wrong glass, one that Grant had been using. So you're saying that she really was surprised when she learned the results? Oh, yes, I'm positive. She was expecting somebody else's. Who's? She wouldn't say, but I'm pretty sure it was Jimmy Lee. She said it was someone in her art class. You should have told me about this, you know. I know, but it seemed so embarrassing to Celia. She really begged me not to tell you. And besides, the whole thing's over and done with now. She's really devoted to Grant. Look, I'm not about to mention it, but um, I don't like using my machines with, without permission, especially for something that's frivolous. Yes, uh, you're right, you're right. I should have talked to you about it. I guess it's just hard to keep the sleuth in me under control. Well, don't worry. I've forgiven you. Especially as you've given me such an interesting piece of information. Really? Why? You're the sleuth? You tell me. You don't think it was a mistake that Grant's fingerprints were on that glass? When it comes to Grant Putnam, I don't know what to think anymore. Scorpio. Uh, Robert, it's Lee Baldwin. I'm at the bank office. And we've just completed all the legalities, so uh, Gerald's bank deposit box can be opened at any time. Look, uh, wait there. I've got to pick up Grant and I'll hurry right over. I'll be waiting. Uh, give me 20 minutes. I'll take this to mean that you're going out. Yeah. Uh, listen, I could be quite a while, so I'll have to meet you at the funeral. Does this have something to do with Grant? Everything to do with Grant. <laughs> I will not keep quiet, Gregory. I have a right to express an opinion. Not if it's a disloyal one. I am trying to face facts. The only fact that you should be concerned with is your imminent death if you fail to obey orders. Now, you know what you have to do. And I'm through wasting time. You don't care at all, do you, that what you're asking me to do is impossible? It would be easier to steal the original from the WSB safe in Washington. I'm afraid that's out of the question. The explosion? You arranged it. Very perceptive. The only accessible copy of Gerald's full equations and you destroyed them. Oh. Gregory, that is marvelous. That is just terrific. I wonder what our superiors, your superiors at DVX, would think about that piece of news. You were right the first time, Grant. They're our superiors. Yes. Don't forget. That. Only I didn't botch this one up. You did. The WSB copy was never accessible or I would have taken it, wouldn't I? It was destroyed as a precaution, so the Americans wouldn't be able to duplicate the disc once Gerald was dead. Mm, precaution. I'm afraid you took that precaution a little too soon. And if you had succeeded in delivering the disc in the first place as you were ordered to do, then none of this would be necessary. You are so good at that. Push the blame off on someone else. You must have been taking lessons from Natalie. I don't understand, Grant. What don't you understand, Gregory? How anybody could be as stupid as you are. Every time you open your mouth, you dig your grave a little bit deeper. <sighs> I'm in no danger, and you know it. You are up a tree, and I am your only means of getting down. If that were true, Grant, I'd be delighted to admit it. Well, Gregory, if it's not true, why don't you just kill me? A day doesn't pass that I don't think about that, Grant. That's right. Kill me. Kill Sergia, kill Natalie, kill Scorpio, kill Luke, kill all of us, and then you'll have the microfilm. The old process of elimination. Sarcasm's a long way from amusing, Grant. Especially considering that if elimination becomes necessary, you are at the top of my list. Am I really? Gregory, I am, I'm, I'm flattered. I am truly honored to be at the top of your list. To everything. Oh, it's not an answer, Grant. Just a means to an end. Your end, if you're not careful, and very shortly. There you go again with the threats. It's not a threat. It's a promise. Get the other half of the microfilm, Grant. Otherwise, say goodbye to your home, say goodbye to Celia, say goodbye to life itself. Hello, Robert. Hello, 
Apologize for interrupting. Uh, Commissioner, my Gregory. I, uh, I've been treating Gregory's hand. <laughs> Believe it or not, I get the worst cramps after I've been playing for too long. You should get Luke to give you a day off every year or two. <laughs> Fat chance of that. Look, I can wait it. No, no, we, uh, we had just finished. Yeah, it's, uh, soak it twice a day, right? Uh, more if you feel it's necessary. Thank you very much, Doc. Commissioner? Mm hmm Thank you, Ken. You bet. Interesting profession, piano player. Well, I don't know. I think I'd find it a little bit boring. Depends on where you work. Uh, Robert, I assume you'll be going to the funeral this afternoon. Yeah, but first we have some business to take care of. We? Lee Baldwin's at the bank. With all this legal business now out of the way, Dr. Gerald's safety deposit box can be opened, and you, of course, as the sole heir, have a right to the contents. When would you like this event to take place? He's at the bank now. All right. But let me just collect my things. What's going on? This could be it. Scorpio's going to take Grant down to the safety deposit box to check in Gerald's belongings. There may be something in there that'll tell us where the other half of the microphone is, and if oh, there is... Oh, that's just it. Exactly. Let's go, let's go. Let's go.